Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Mass. Today is Monday, October 19th. We are celebrating the memorial of Saints John de Brebeuf and Isaac Jogue, priests and companions, martyrs. May we never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the word of the cross is the power of God to us who have been saved. Praise the Lord, ye heavens adore him. Praise him, angels in the high. Sun and moon rejoice before him. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise the Lord, for he has spoken. World to his mighty voice obey. Laws which never shall be broken. For their guidance he has made. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind those times in which we have sinned. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned my thoughts and in my words, to what I have done, to what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my once previous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and to bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose to manifest the blessed hope of your eternal kingdom by the toil of Saints John de Brebeuf, Isaac Jobes, and their companions, and by the shedding of their blood, graciously grant that through their intercession the faith of Christians may be strengthened day by day, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you once lived following the age of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air and the spirit that is now at work in the disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the desires of our flesh, following the wishes of the flesh and the impulses, and we were by nature children of wrath like the rest. But God who is rich in mercy because of his great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace you have been saved, raised us up in him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you, it is a gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast, for we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for good works that God has prepared in advance, that we should live in them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord made us, we belong to him. The, the Lord, Lord made us, us we, we belong, belong to him. him. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. The Lord, Lord made, made us, us, we, we belong, belong to him. him. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are, his people, the flock he tends. The, the Lord, Lord made us, we belong to him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. The Lord, Lord made us, we belong to him. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for he is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. 
the Lord made us, we belong to him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed. For though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, what shall I do? For I do not have space to store my harvest. And he said, this is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, now as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasures for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, I've, I've said this time and time again. This is a perfect example. It doesn't matter how much we have in possessions or in money or whatever it is, if we're going to keep it and hoard it all to ourselves. As I told uh, the parishioners at Mount Carmel this weekend, because I wasn't here this weekend, we have moral obligations as we have a dual citizen citizenship. One is in the place where we are born and live. The other is in the kingdom of heaven once we are baptized. And while we roam this earth, we have moral obligations that we must follow. And one of those moral obligations is to take care of those who do not have or who are in need. And by the parable today, Jesus reminds us that, that we have to. It doesn't matter how much we have. We can't store it up and just keep it for ourselves. We have to share the wealth. My friends, I have never in my life seen a funeral procession where the armored car or the U-Haul truck was following behind the hearse. It doesn't work that way. It's more important and what matters most to each and every one of us and what matters most to God of all is that we take what we have and share it among those who have so little. Let us stand now and offer our prayers this day. For Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the bishops scattered throughout the world, that they continue to do the good works that God has sent them here to do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the respect of all life, from conception until natural death, that all of it is respected and honored. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, to the diaconate, and to religious life, that they hear God's call and answer him wisely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and suffering this day, that they may feel God's healing touch. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they see God face to face, and enjoy the eternal rewards offered to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who have stored up many riches in their lives, 
and do not share them with those in need, that they may see God and have a conversion of hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we now pause to add the intentions in which we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we offer you this day. Grant them at your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Led on their way by this triumphant sign, the hosts of God in conquering ranks combine. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth, sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts, we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, 
and given you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and today in a special way we remember Dennis Kamowski, and to all who were pleasing to you at their <coughs> passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
And peace to everyone viewing at home. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into room in my life. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Heavenly Father, says the Lord. We belong to you, O Lord of our longing. We belong to you in our daily living, dying and rising. We belong to you in the waters of your mercy. When the old becomes the new, souls united in the mystery, we belong to you. We belong to you, O Lord of our longing. We belong to you in our daily living, dying and rising. We belong to you. For those at home in acts of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from the sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I failed to mention just one or two little things about St. John de Brebeuf and Isaac Job's and their companions, and they are known as the North American martyrs, as um, John de Brouf was um, martyred in Canada, what is today modern day Canada, and Isaac uh, Jobes was martyred uh, somewhere in upstate New York, close to uh, the Canadian border, uh, along with the their companions. So they are what the church refers to as North American martyrs. A few announcements. First off, I want to say thank you to all those who helped organize the drive-in mass at the Grove yesterday, and for all those who came out. We had about 35 cars, so it was a good showing for a first attempt at a drive-in mass. Um, another announcement for you is that next Monday, uh, next Monday there will not be 8 o'clock mass here. It'll just be a communion service as long as one of our deacons is available. Um, unfortunately, Father Nash will be at Our Lady of Mount Carmel, and I will be uh, taking leave for about a week uh, just uh, to get away um, and have a little rest and relaxation. 
before we get into the Advent season. So I will not be with you um, starting Friday, and I'll be back with you on um, Saturday, October 31st, Halloween. And we will have Halloween in the courtyard for the, for the little kitties, so we hope that uh, they come out and enjoy that. Uh, we'll be masked and socially distanced, of course, but we have to give them a little something and to have a little normalcy in our lives this year in the midst of this pandemic. So again, I won't be here with you next week. I'll be here with you tomorrow, and I hope everybody has a wonderful week. Continue to stay safe. You know our numbers keep going up in Luzerne County, so you know what we have to do to stop the spread. Hope everybody has, just enjoy your week. Uh, enjoy the weather as we go through fall here. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Thank you everyone for joining us for Mass today. We'll be back at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Take care, be safe, God bless.